Where is it? Where's what? My favorite video game. I can't find it anywhere. What game was it? Only the most famous fighting video game of all time. Mortal Kombat? No. Street Fighter? No. Tekken? No. Shaq Fu! It's like all those other video games you listed, but you get to play as Shaq. Shaq, the basketball player. He plays basketball and has his own video game? What? He sounds amazing. I gotta meet this guy. Where's the animal communicator? Why? I, uh, wanna smell it. What? Steve, are you planning to teleport yourself to Shaq? Because messing with the space-time continuum can totally- Did he just do what I think he did? It says here that he's... Uh-oh. What? The communicator didn't send him to Shaq. It sent him back in time. Back in time? To where? And the signal's bouncing all over the place. Ancient Egypt, colonial America. He could be anywhere. Relax. Although he may seem a little off, he's actually pretty street smart. He'll blend in. He speaks a dozen languages, knows every local custom. He'll disappear. And with any luck, he's found Shaq already. I know you said you didn't want to go to the play, but there could be snacks. Nice to meet you, I'm still- Hey, any chance a dust buster was invented yet? Sir, the phone keeps ringing. It could be urgent. Relax, it's probably just a spam call. Let's just keep driving straight ahead. It looks like Steve's rewriting history. We've got to stop him. What are we going to do? We'll just have to go back to a time we'll know he'll be at. And if my calculations are correct, he should be here. Where are we? It says here that we're still in New Jersey. Is this a blimp? Kind of. It's a Zeppelin. Wait a second. What? We're over New Jersey. In a Zeppelin. And it's 1937. Do you know what that means? Hmm. New Jersey. 1937. Ah, of course. The invention of Velcro by the late great Velcrovius Maximus. Is he here? What? I need him to sign my sweatshirt. What? No, Andy. We're on the Hindenburg. Hinden what now? The Hindenburg. It was a famous Zeppelin that... You know... What? Exploded. It what? ex plo Exploded? We gotta get out of here! Everyone, abandon ship! Duck and cover! Every man for themselves! Pardon my friend here. He's... French. What? Seriously, what are we gonna do? Andy, we can't rewrite history too much. It could alter our future. We just have to find Steve and get out of here. Can you at least turn the collar on? Sure. Much better. But this thing is huge. He could be anywhere. Or maybe tell me a little bit more about this Heisenberg so I know where to look. Good idea. The Hindenburg was a giant airship, also known as a Zeppelin, used to carry passengers across long distances. It was one of the largest flying machines ever built at the time. Its official name was LZ-129 Hindenburg. LZ stood for this, which means Airship Zeppelin in German. It was built by Germany's Zeppelin Company to be a luxurious way to travel long distances, especially across the Atlantic Ocean. It was meant to show off German engineering and to compete with airplanes and ocean liners. Planning and construction started in the early 1930s, and the Hindenburg was completed in 1936. It took about five years to design and construct the Hindenburg, though most of the actual construction happened in the final two years. Over a thousand engineers, designers, and workers helped build the Hindenburg. 
and it could carry up to 72 passengers and 61 crew members for a total of over 130 people on board. On board the airship, it was like being in a luxurious hotel. There were two decks, or floors. The passenger deck had cabins for sleeping, a dining room, a lounge area, and even a smoking room. The smaller lower deck featured bathrooms, showers, storage, and an area for the crew. Once finished, it measured a whopping 804 feet long. It's about the same length as the Titanic. Even with its massive size, it could reach a top speed of 84 miles per hour as it cruised at around 650 feet in the air. Great, so it's massive and due to explode any second. Oh no! And still no sign of Steve. Yeah! There's gotta be more to this thing that you're not telling me. Well, think. If you were Steve, where would you be? Hmm. Are there any fruit baskets on this thing? No. Any cousins named Fernando? No. Uh, I'm at a loss. There is nowhere else he could possibly go. Ha, 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 ha. Staying alive. Staying Wait, alive. do you hear that? Ha, I do. Ha, ha, I think it's... Ha. Staying alive. It was Steve. Well, that solves that problem. So tell me more about this Hindenburg. The Hindenburg didn't use engines to stay in the air like a plane. The engines only helped it move forward and steer, like a boat's motor. What actually lifted it up was hydrogen gas. Hydrogen is very light, but also extremely flammable. It was supposed to be filled with safer helium, but the United States wouldn't sell helium to Germany due to the whole World War II thing starting up. Wait, Andy, where did you- Hey, I'm Mr. DeMeo, and I'm about to die in a fire on a balloon in my home state. What? Too soon? Yeah. As I was saying, the hydrogen could be found inside the balloon in these areas called gas cells or gas chambers. There were 16 of these huge gas bags inside the metal frame of the airship, which lifted it into the air. It typically required up to 61 crew members to work on the Hindenburg, including engineers, stewards, maintenance staff, and numerous crew members responsible for helping fly the airship, including a captain who oversaw the command of the ship, three watch officers who assisted the captain, three navigators who worked on the positioning and route the ship would take, three ruddermen who controlled the rudder and steered it, and three elevator men who controlled the ship's height and pitch. The airship did a total of 62 trips before its last, the 63rd trip and the disaster that made it famous. On May 6, 1937, the Hindenburg was coming from Frankfurt, Germany and was about to land in Lakehurst, New Jersey before it erupted into flames. How it exploded is still unknown, but the most logical reason stems from the hydrogen gas we spoke of earlier. Hydrogen is very flammable, and it's believed that it may have been leaking. A spark likely ignited the gas and caused the famous destruction that ended the Hindenburg. Although the destruction was legendary, it only lasted about 37 seconds. The Hindenburg flying across the Atlantic to New Jersey was a big deal as it was seen as a cool new way to travel. Due to the excitement surrounding its arrival, news cameras were present in New Jersey to capture it. But instead of seeing the airship land, they recorded its end. Here, watch. A radio reporter was recording live when it occurred and he muttered these famous words. And it screams now, and the frame is crashing to the ground, not quite to the morning mass, all the humanity and all the passengers screaming around it. Which live in infamy alongside the end of the Hindenburg. Of the 97 people on board, 36 people died, including 13 passengers, 22 crew members, and one person on the ground. 62 people survived. Some jumped from the ship as it neared the ground while others escaped after it hit the ground. Man, imagine being that one poor soul who lost his life on the ground. I was just thinking the same thing. Come on, zap us out of here and let's go get Steve before this thing blows up. Good idea. <laughs> oh, I landed on some... Oh, there it is. Oh look, a balloon.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. Like every video of mine, there's a super secret hidden coupon code in it. Try to find it. If you do, you can use it to get money off of my merch, so good luck. Now on to my patrons on Patreon who keep this channel alive. Special thanks to you, Sam Yosef, Jasper Soros Rex, Roman, Mars, Odin, Tyson, and Mocha, Paisley, Hanalei, Whitney, and Brian, Alexander, Julian, and David, Jonathan, George, Chesselton, Kent, Maddie Gator, Teddy and Josie Burke, James M, Gavin and Hayden Huggin, Zane and Asher Davis, Mika, Jordan and Maya, Max C, Ocean Casey, Asher Evans, Wesley C, Unshuman, Logan Miller, Ronan X and Raiden Z, Atticus, Connor Pendergrass, Connor Lecoque and family, Evan Lee, Sultan, Judy, Nora Rita, Levi and Julian Cooney, Layla Delgado, Sophie and Remy Keffer, Bert, Kate, Ross, Lindy and Pepper, Kuchan 115, William and Joe, Jack Hartzler, JJ Schmidt, Oliver V and Kristen, Tyler, Ian, Corey, and Deba, Luke Raposa, Solomon Caldwell and Asa Caldwell, Nolan Jordan, Rebecca Beanie, Julian Jackson and Jacob, Connor Higgins, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Colin and Kira Flanagan, CJ Coleman, Zane and Jude Brenton, Colty Canestro from Colorado, Will Bowler, Jameson, Nolan and Lily, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Hawthorne and Willow Tree, Bodie and Ren Turner. Elias and his fun dad Dave from Saskatoon, Penny and Liam Drury, the Gowdy Bros and Mabsy, George, George Monkey, Summers, Catalina Ryan from Dublin, Ireland, Lava Liam, Oshi, Xavier Freeze, Stephen McPhee, Laser Rosen, Laney, Maddie and Henry, Connor and Emma B, Aria Chaudhry, Gavin Meidel, Ada S, Lennon McCartney, Jones, Page, Avalon and Cash, Sunshine Sparkle and the Pups, Silas M, Jack and his awesome dad, Sam and Eddie from London, Carl Carter, Levi, and Fletcher Crawford. Do you want to get your name in a video too? Well, please consider signing up. I would really like it if you did. If you do, you can see my videos early, get your name in my next video, help me pick my next topic, and more. Check the description box for a link and comment below with other video topics you'd like me to cover. Thanks for watching, guys.